So hello and welcome to my video review of the Lexmoto Venom SE. I've owned this bike for two years, it's 2016. Uh, it's Chinese, Lexmoto obviously. And I'm just making this review because a lot of people will tell you Chinese bikes, oh no, stay away from them. It's absolute rubbish nowadays. Uh, the quality of these bikes has come a long way. They really have caught up to the Japanese market. Uh, you're going to pay four grand for a brand new Japanese bike. Whereas this I paid £1,500 for. Um, kind of beggar's belief really. I've not had a single problem with this. Except for the rear light cluster. The LED light cluster there. You can see that. <coughs> Sorry about the room here, I'm just in my shed, so I've got very little room, but that went a couple of weeks after buying this bike. Um, took it back to the dealer, they replaced it straight away, no problem, no qualms whatsoever, still under warranty. These bikes do come with a large warranty, and uh, that's the only time I've ever had to use it. Now before this bike, I did have a Japanese classic, a 1986 TZR125, obviously a different machine, a two-stroke. Um, but I mean how forever stripping that bike down trying to keep up with its paintwork fixing it you know tuning it maybe doing something to it constantly just to keep it on the road the amount of money I had to plow into that bike uh, if you want to see that bike you can go back on my channel there and see it <clears throat> but yeah this bike I've had it two years and literally I've done 3,500 miles on it and uh, like I say, it hasn't missed a beat. Not a single beat. Um, I do keep it clean and I do ride it in all weathers. Um, but I like to keep it clean as you can see. I think if you look after your bikes, they'll look after you. Uh, goes without saying really. Um, the only things I did change on this bike, obviously the exhaust there purely aesthetic it, re it did very little to my speed increase um, I did try up jetting the carb slightly and I also disconnected the EGR valve on the engine there just to let it breathe a little better it gave me about five miles an hour so she's good for around 75 but I'm only nine stone wet through so I think that's about all you're gonna get out of this bike really um, it's not going to win you any races, but I will say it is super comfortable to ride. Uh, it's got such a, a large presence on the road. Totally different riding style from my TZR, obviously, but this bike feels so much more modern than that bike. Obviously, it's 20 years older than this bike, but this bike really is like a Rolls Royce compared to my TZR. I mean, the amount of back pain and stuff I used to get from that, but yeah people will say chinese bikes you know steer clear or they'll give you they'll break after two years or whatever like i say i've had this for two years now and no problem whatsoever i mean quality of these things really has come a long way nowadays uh, you know switches are all working fine um it's even got a blooming stereo yeah believe it or not i'll show you this So yeah, if you want to play music whilst you're cleaning your bike or whatever, there you go. Um, it comes alarmed, immobilised, what more do you want? 1500 quid, I don't think you can go wrong really. Uh, People, people will swear that you know Japanese bikes are the best, and they'll they'll still be good after this long. And that I think any bike, well, I think if you treat any bike well, it'll treat you well. Um, so yeah, just take whatever people say to you about these bikes with a pinch of salt, really. Uh, I think they're great. I'd buy another one of these tomorrow if I could afford it. Um, so yeah, that's my review. The Lexmoto Venom SE125 
check them out.